this is Captain Chaudhary. Uh, let's talk about coefficient d and e. Coefficient d and e are the ones which are caused because of horizontal soft ion about the compass. So if you have horizontal soft ion that is symmetrical about a fore and aft line through the compass, that means whatever horizontal soft ion is on the port side, it's also on the starboard side, then such a horizontal soft ion will give rise to coefficient d. So what kind of uh, soft iron material we have which can give rise to coefficient d. So you know that we have the beams, we have girders. Beams and girders are symmetrical about the center line. So beams and girders on the ship, they will give rise to coefficient d. But my question is, if you talk about the girder and girder is magnetized, these poles are very far off from the compass. They are quite remote from the compass. So they will not be able to influence the uh, magnetic compass so much but if we talk about the beams there are several beams which are close to the magnetic compass particularly the beams which are at the bridge deck beams which are on the monkey island so let us say there is this beam on the monkey island which is primarily causing the coefficient d in the magnet position in the compass position this particular beam which is on the monkey island will form the pole on either side right and these poles are going to give rise a coefficient that is called coefficient d. So we want to know whether inherently the ship has got plus d or minus d. So we'll try to quickly draw the eight-headed diagram for the beam on the monkey island, right? And we will see whether this coefficient is positive or negative, right? We don't have to worry about drawing the eight-headed diagram. We need to only remember one thing that the pointer wants to go towards the blue color pointer hates red color and the tail wants to go to red color tail hates blue color so keeping this in mind let us draw the eight headed diagram say for example this is the north heading northeast easterly heading southeast south heading southwest Westerly heading and northwest heading. Magnetic compass. Let's see what is the effect of induction on the beam running from port to starboard. Approximately nine with the compass. Now, there will be blue pole formed here, over here, over here, over here, here and here. This direction of the beam and this direction of the beam is in a way neutral about the magnetic field. We may say that 50% of the beam becomes blue and 50% becomes red but that uh, doesn't serve a purpose. We want the distinct poles to be formed and we may say that the blue poles are formed this way, okay, where the signal hits first, the blue pole is formed and the other side, the red pole is formed. So red pole I can show with a cross for understanding better. So there is this blue pole and there is this red pole that is formed. Now the needle likes blue color, right? Needle likes blue color and needle hits red color. So the deflection will be eastward here. And over here if you see the deflection should be westward. Over here the deflection will be again eastward and here the deflection will be westward. This is because the pointer wants to go towards the blue color and the tail wants to go towards the red color. So we can see that there is easterly deviation here, zero deviation here, westerly deviation, zero deviation, easterly deviation, zero deviation, westerly deviation and zero deviation. So this deviation pattern which you see here is quadrantal. It changes every 90 degrees. So this particular deviation is also called quadrantal deviation whereas coefficient B and C was called semicircular deviation. Now the test quadrant is from north to northeast in the test quadrant we find that the deviation is eastward which means that the entire diagram is for coefficient 
plus B because this is the test sector. In the test sector, if you have westerly deviation, that means the coefficient is negative. So can we say that because of can we say because of the beam that is on the monkey island, the ship inherently has plus D. And that plus D is because of the continuous beam that runs from port to starboard at Monkey Island. And now, to counteract the effect of the magnetism, the counteract the effect of magnetism because of the continuous beam, what we do is we try to place the broken beam on either side of the compass. So, magnetism that is caused because of the broken beam is opposite to the magnetism that is caused of continuous beam. Why and how? We shall see that. But then, can we say that the soft iron spheres are used in place of broken beam? Soft iron spheres, they have some other properties also. The basic use of soft iron sphere is number one, to create minus D against the plus D which is inherently present on the ship. The other use of soft iron spheres is between the spheres in the compass position where you have magnetic compass. The directive force increases. Directive force is the one which keeps the needle in meridian. So directive force in the position of compass increases. These are the two distinct advantages of the soft iron spheres. There are several others, right? But at the moment, let us understand that the soft iron which is soft iron spheres which are placed on either side of the compass they are able to create a minus d we have seen that the coefficient d is maximum at intercardinal headings and it is zero on the cardinal headings so let us draw one of the intercardinal headings and let us see what is the effect of these broken beams of the soft iron sphere suppose instead of using the soft iron we have used the broken beams right so signals as they travel from south to north, the blue pole is formed here, red pole is formed here and again blue pole is formed here and red pole is formed here. Which means that close to the compass, in the vicinity of compass, we have an imaginary magnet which has got red on the starboard side and blue on the port side. This is opposite to if there was a single beam with blue here and red here. So if you have a blue on the starboard side, red on the port side with a single beam, with a divided beam or broken beam, you will have the red on the starboard side and blue on the port side. So this is how the soft iron sphere, 50% of it becomes blue, 50% of the sphere becomes red and the poles which are in the vicinity of the compass, they make a magnet, they make an imaginary magnet which is induced in the opposite way as compared to the continuous beam. So this is how soft iron sphere is able to create minus D in the compass position.